Jojoba oil. Jeez, what the heck? So many different oils. Coconut oil, uh, olive oil, uh, sunflower oil. You know, those are the most common ones for cooking, but jojoba oil. Um, how did I discover this? Well, actually, I was, I got hip to this from a, a gentleman named Bernardo Lapalo. And uh, he has a book. First of all, he's 107 years old. He might be older now. Um, and he wrote a book called Age Less, Live More. And in it, uh, <laughs> actually, some really cool YouTube videos uh, online of him talking. And uh, he's a really uh, amazing man. Uh, really funny. And just goes to show you that, you know, if you have a, a happy heart and you have good people around you, um, you know, you're going to have a healthy life that's part of it too it's not just eating the right foods and exercise and you gotta you gotta have a reason to live and people to live for so um really an inspiration that guy is and he recommended one thing that i had never heard before he was bragging about how he doesn't have any corns on his feet <laughs> and the reason why is because he puts olive oil on his feet every night before he goes to bed and then I, I guess, you know, maybe he probably put socks over it so that the oil doesn't get all over the bed. He didn't really say, but I started doing it. I put the olive oil on my feet and the first night I just, you know, <laughs> I just kind of let it dry on top of the covers. And then as I felt it was dry enough, then I stuck them under the covers. And of course, it wasn't all the way dry. So I felt like after a couple nights of that... The bed was getting kind of like the sheets were getting oily. And I, I, then I switched to the sock method. So I put the olive oil on my feet and then I put some socks on. And I, I hate sleeping with socks. Oh, my gosh. But anyway, um, I love the result because in the morning you wake up and you feel your feet. You're like, oh, my gosh, they are really smooth. So I got this idea. I was like, you know, what? what if I started putting olive oil on my face? Because I love how smooth my feet were and how I just, I felt like it's a really beneficial thing to put the olive oil on your feet. And you know, like, supposedly all these toxins and stuff are, uh, can be drawn out from the feet. And somehow in Chinese medicine, there's different parts of the foot that relate to different organs or not. So I, I don't really understand all that stuff, but apparently the bottom of the feet are important. So Putting olive oil on them, uh, it felt like a good thing to me. And and so, you know, applying that same knowledge, why not put some olive oil on your face? And that's not a good idea. <laughs> and it took a couple of days for me to figure it out. I was like, why am I breaking out? Why do I... I looked a little bit tan, actually. It kind of changed my skin tone to be a little bit darker, which was kind of cool. Um, but my face obviously was really oily, duh. And then also I was getting pimples and stuff. And, uh, I just, I felt like my face was actually starting to look older. Well, this is not the, the intended result here. So I went online, I did some research and discovered that if you're going to put any kind of oil on your face, this is the stuff jojoba oil okay and yeah it it smells nice it kind of smells like olive oil but it's not as potent it's not as strong of a scent and it is not as dense it is kind of like it's more fine it's more it's it's uh like topical it's not going to go into your pores it just, whatever the molecular makeup of it is, it just kind of sits on your skin and it does moisturize. And um, it was cool. I put it, you know, and honestly, so I put it on my face a couple nights. Uh, and then I just realized that probably your face, you shouldn't be putting oil on it. Maybe, maybe some lotion is the best way to go. And uh, over the years, I've tried uh, a couple different lotions i'm going to actually review one of them in a different video it's the uh let's see what is it called it's the lubiderm and uh, also shea butter is really cool too but 
yeah, I think, you know, if this was an interesting experiment, it was only a couple bucks on Amazon. So I decided to get it. And, um, it's, it's healthy for your face. It's healthy oil for your face. Uh, I can't say that I'm a huge fan of it. I definitely do prefer the lotion over this. Um, the thing with the lotion is there's a lot of chemicals in the lotion and I want something that's as natural and organic as possible. So that's why I was, you know, the olive oil, I mean, that, that's pretty freaking natural, you know, to me, uh, it's oil. It's not mixed with a lot of stuff. It's just oil. So, and, and you know, obviously this jojoba oil, it says a hundred percent pure moisturizing oil. So it's, it is a very organic and natural way to go. It's not concocted in a laboratory per se, like a lot of the lotions are, but, uh, you know, for your face, I have to recommend the lotion. Although if you want to go the route of the oil, this is the way don't do the olive oil. Uh, I've tried coconut oil in the past as well. Can't even really say I'm a fan of that. Coconut oil is great if you want to go out and get a tan. Um, that's I think that's really cool for that. Um, but if you're just looking for a face moisturizer, you got to check out this jojoba. So that's all I have to say about that. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I talk about a lot of different-ish, a lot of different topics here. Health topics, some, some tech stuff, uh, whatever I can get my hands on and I feel like talking about. Honestly, that's what it is. So I don't know how you found this video. If you're still watching, I definitely appreciate it. And uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to see you again. So till next time.